Hello. For this demonstration, we will show you how to create a new account in eServices. You will need to start from the eServices homepage, which is located on the web at secure.esd.wa.gov. From there, click on the Create an Account button. You will then fill out your personal information, such as your legal first name, last name, and an email address you can currently access. You will have the option to add additional emails and phone numbers. Next, you create your username and password. When you have completed the form, you will then register your account. Check your email box and open the email titled, Activate Your Secure Access Washington Account. Check your email box and open the email titled, Activate Your Secure Access Washington Account. Click on the activation link and you will receive a message thanking you for activating your Secure Access Washington or SAW account. At that point, enter your password and click on Continue. Next, you will see an eServices screen and you're almost there. The system will ask you if you want to continue. Click on Continue and then you will be prompted by the words Verify My Identity. Complete the Verify My Identity page and hit Next. This will bring you to a screen for eServices. Select Apply for Unemployment Benefits or Manage Your Current and Past Claims. You will then enter into the two-step verification process. Two-step verification is also known as Multi-Factor Authentication or MFA. Two-step verification adds another layer of security to protect your private information. For this demonstration, we are choosing email. When you enter into the two-step verification or MFA system for the first time, it will prompt you to choose a method to receive a six-digit verification code. Retrieve the code from your email, then return to the multi-factor authentication page, enter your six-digit code, and then click on Submit. Please note, if you did not receive the code, check your trash, and junk, or spam folders. If you still cannot find the email, you can choose the option to send the code again on the multi-factor authentication page. After you have successfully entered the six-digit code, you will be prompted to remember your device. This refers to the device you are using to log in, such as a specific computer or cell phone. Remembering your device reduces the number of steps when logging into eServices. If you are using a shared or public device, we recommend that you keep this box unchecked. If you choose to remember your device, the system will ask you to name it. Click Submit and you will be logged into your account. 
You're done. You have successfully created an account in eServices. From here, you can securely take multiple actions, such as applying for unemployment benefits, sending us a secure message, reading important alerts, or updating your banking information. Thank you for watching.